Hey everybody, my name is Mike and welcome back to the short of it, quick short videos that give you a high level overview of content, providing you with enough to get started. In today's video, I'll be introducing an image manipulation program in one of its features in a new series. So let's get started. When creating a design, logo, or image, you may need some help from a program to achieve that desired look. One of the best programs to help you with this is Adobe Photoshop. This software goes for as low as $21 a month, but can get expensive. There is, however, another option known as GNU Image Manipulation Program, or GIMP for short. This program's functionality can certainly help you with those more complex alterations and edits. I don't plan on going through everything that GIMP has to offer, as its capabilities are vast, but in this series, I do plan on sharing things here and there that I have used to help get my designs where I would like them to be. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to move and center an image within GIMP. First, you'll need to download the program, which can be found at www.gimp.org. From here, you can browse through what GIMP has to offer and download their newest version, which at the time of this video is 2.10.32. I also want to mention that there is a donate button. If GIMP is something that helps you along the way, I encourage you to contribute. After the application is installed and opens up, a new project will be provided that should look something like this. Around the center canvas, you'll have a few different docks. In the top left window, you have your toolbox. Below that, you have your tool options, which will change with each selection you make up top. On the top right, you have your dialog dock. And below that, you have your layers, channels, and paths. All of these docs are customizable to suit you and what you will primarily be using GIMP for. I'll be exploring these windows further in a future video. Now to demonstrate how to move and center an image, I'll open up a new project and select a background. I'll go to File, then Open. I'll select the background and hit Open. Now I need to add the image I'll be moving. So I'll go back to File and select Open as Layer. In GIMP, each image that you add to your canvas is labeled as a layer. Since we are adding an additional image, this will add a layer which can be seen in the lower right hand corner. Since our image comes over already centered, I'll move it for this exercise. The easiest way to move an image in GIMP is to cut it and then paste it back. So I'll make sure that the Move tool is selected, highlight the image, then click Ctrl X for cut and Control v for paste. Now you can see that the image is highlighted, and as long as the Move tool is selected, you can move your image around the background freely. I'll place it here. Once I'm happy with this placement, I will right-click the image layer that now says Floating Selection and select To New Layer. This will recreate the image layer with this new location on the canvas. Now if you want to return your image to the center of the background, I will make sure the alignment tool is selected and click the image. In the tool options section, you will see different directions where your image can be sent. To center it, I will click the align center of target button and the align middle of target button. This has brought the image back to the center. To save your project as an image, go to file and select export as. If you select Save or Save As, it will save your project as a GIMP file. Export As will allow you to save your project as a PNG file, which can be used in other applications. I'll be bringing you a few more of these short GIMP videos in the future, but if you would like to dive deeper into what the program can do, Kevin Stratford and Michael Davies have some great tutorials. I'll leave links to their videos in the description. And with that, please subscribe if you haven't already. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. As always, I am Mike. This is the short of it. See you next time.